scikit-learn tip number 44. Want your grid search to run faster? Set n jobs equals negative 1 to use parallel processing with all CPUs. Okay, this tip actually looks complicated, but it is quite simple. This top part of the code is just the setup for the grid search of a pipeline. So we'll scroll down here. And then we'll actually do the grid search and use the percent time IPython magic function to time it. And we'll see that the initial grid search takes 18 seconds. Then we'll come down here and we'll do the exact same search. We'll add the n jobs equals negative one parameter, and it takes about six seconds. So what is going on here? Well, it turns out that some scikit-learn processes can be parallelized. By default, it will just use one CPU to do computations. But if you set n jobs equal to two, it will use two CPUs. And if you want to use all CPUs, you set it to negative one. So this n jobs parameter is not only available with grid search, but it's also available with randomized search and various other processes in scikit-learn that tend to be computationally expensive. For example, the random forest model has an n jobs parameter that you can also set to negative one. So the bottom line is if you see an n jobs parameter, and you don't mind taking over all CPUs, then set it to negative one and things will generally be much faster. Now, a final note, if you're in a shared computing environment, you may want to actually find out how many CPUs are available and set it to an integer below that number. Otherwise, your process might interrupt everyone else's processes that are running on that machine, which might not be good.